Welcome to Excel at Data Mining. My name is Billy Decker. I'm a business intelligence consultant that works for StatSlice, a consulting firm based out of Dallas, Texas. And today we're going to look at how to use a mining model to create predictions in less than five minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a mining structure. And we're just going to do this real fast, but we're going to do it based upon this table analysis tool sample down here. And we're going to do that by selecting uh, the table right here. Click Next. Uh, we want all the columns, so click Next. We're going to leave the percentage of data testing at 30%. Click Next. And then we're just going to go ahead and click Finish. The next step is we're actually going to add a model to our structure. And so we're going to go ahead and select the structure that we just created. Click Next. And then we're going to come over here, we're going to select the logistic regression model. And we're going to go ahead and leave all the uh, default parameters set where they are, so we're just going to click Next. And then here, the only thing we're going to change on our selecting columns is we're going to change purchased bike from input to input and predict. Selecting Next, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uncheck browse model and just process the model. So now we are actually going to, um, our entire goal is, uh, well, let's just kind of recap what we did here. We took all this data where we had a bunch of customers and we had the information about the customers and we had whether or not they purchased a bike. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a whole data set of new customers who haven't decided whether or not to purchase a bike and we're going to apply our model to this to uh, make a prediction for each row on here on how likely they are to actually purchase a bike. So the first thing we do is we actually just select query and we're going to pick our model which is the logistic regression model and now we're going to select a new customers table 17 and here we're going to notice on specify relationships that between our mining model and our actual table that we're going to analyze, it tried to match the columns as best it could, but it only, it only does uh, perfect matches. And we notice we're missing one here for income. So what we need to change is we need to say that income is related to yearly income there. And so we can actually force any different columns to actually be uh, related to one another between the two. They don't have to actually have the same name. And then on purchase a bike, there isn't one, so we're going to leave that blank. Okay, so now on our choose output, we're actually going to start building the DMX query that is going to uh, pretty much query our mining model and apply it to this table that we just selected for new customers. So we're going to go ahead and select the add output. We're going to select purchase bike predict probability, and yes. So what this is, is we're going to look at the purchased bike column in our mining model, and we're going to apply that to our new customer's model, and we're going to predict the probability that they're going to say yes. Um, one note is you can actually have other functions you can mess with here, but we are not going to touch those. So go ahead and hit OK. So we can see our query expression right here. We notice that um, on the far right of the DMX expression, we have our actual value, which is yes. We have our column purchased bike, and we have our model right here. And we're going to go ahead and change this name from probability of bike purchase. And then we're going to go ahead and hit next. Uh, we have several options on where we're going to, we can actually put this data. We're going to choose to append it to our input data. Now remember, our input data was the new customers table. So this is going to be a column that ends up on our new customer spreadsheet. So we're going to go ahead and click finish. It processes. And then we scroll a little bit to the right here and we notice that we have an entirely new column where there is a prediction for each customer on how likely they are to purchase a bike. And one of the things that we can do is we can say, well, we only want to look at customers that have greater than a 50% chance of purchasing a bike. And we have basically narrowed down the number of customers that we're going to reach out and contact. And that is pretty much 
how you create a prediction based upon a mining model in less than five minutes. Thank you very much.